Rome wasn't built in a day. So was the Netherlands. Houses and communities were built with the growth of the economy and the population. Under different historical, economical, technical, and political background, the requirements and needs for housing and communities varies. There is an interesting type of community. People sometimes refer to it as Winex neighborhood. Here you see on the screen is an example of a Winex neighborhood, the biggest one in the Netherlands, Utrecht Langscherein. It looks modern and organized. But what exactly is that? What is the connection between Winex and housing solution towards the 21st century? Winex stands for Fear the Nota Grand Lake Ordinary Extra, the fourth memorandum on spatial planning extra. It was proposed in 1991 as the extra note for Vino, fourth memorandum on spatial planning. Those memorandums are post-war spatial policies in the Netherlands, giving guidelines about how space is used and arranged. Vino and Vinex cover the period between 1995 and 2005, right between the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century. To add just the further population growth in that period, by designating new space for building residence areas. The most important principles of a Minex neighbourhood is that it should be located to an existing city centre so that it can make contribution to these goals below. Reinforcement of existing shopping centre and facilities, limiting the impending depopulation of medium-large cities in the Netherlands, Protection of open areas in the Netherlands by concentrating urbanisation around existing medium-large cities and limiting car mobility between living, working and facilities. Short distances offer more options for public transport, cycling and working. Let's see how Utrecht Langscherang fulfils these goals. Langscherin is located in the west of Utrecht, has a local train station. From there, it only takes four minutes to get to Utrecht Central Station. It has a great infrastructure for cyclists. If you prefer to go to the city centre by bike, after crossing this bridge, which connects Langscherin and the city centre region, it only takes 10 minutes to get to the central station. The quietness of the neighbourhood and the construction of this cycling bridge cannot be realised without moving the national level arterial motorway, A2, from ground level to an underground tunnel. This makes Langscherang into a lively neighbourhood as part of the city of Utrecht. Furthermore, Langscherang has its own community centre so that people can easily travel there do grocery shopping, playing, and use the public facilities such as the municipality office or the library. There are 81 Vinex neighbourhoods in 56 municipalities around the Netherlands, and the vast majority can be found in Randstad region, where the four biggest cities locate. Zeeland is the only province that has no Vinex location. Which types of living places are there available in a Vinex neighbourhood? Almost all typical Dutch living spaces are available. Apartments, terraced houses, semi-detached houses and detached houses. According to CBS, the Netherlands Statistics Bureau, in 2016, there are nearly 800,000 people living in a Vinex neighbourhood. Moreover, according to this article, the percentage of children living in the Vinex neighbourhood is higher than the average of the entire country and the average income of this kind of neighbourhood is higher as well. However, there are also prejudices about Vinex neighbourhoods. For example, this one. 
During the Winex development, 680,000 houses were built. Building South Manor houses in 10 years is definitely not a piece of cake, so as the design. Manor houses that look alike have been built, just like copy and paste the same pattern everywhere. And that has also been reflected in our daily life. When I saw the well-organized houses on Maris Island on Animal Crossing, her response was, yes, very Venex. But does that help you? Let's look at another example. This is Brandefort in Helmond, another Venex neighborhood situated in the south of the Netherlands. It was built according to the principles of new urbanism and new classical architecture. As you can see, the houses all look different. They were constructed based on the classic Brabant villages and small towns. I would like to conclude the video with the last sentence in this article. I would say to all those people who are always so negative about it, if you happen to have nothing to do this weekend, just go and check it out.